let's take a look at the clip volume 2 for 3D. I've got a sample 3D bridge and you can see here's my top, my front, and my right view here, as well as my isometric. One of the easiest things to do is to pick one of these three views and then be able to cut straight across depending on the orientation that you're working with. So let's say we want to start with the right view. I'm going to select this icon. Again, this is the clip volume. And I'm going to come up here to my tool settings. And notice that when I select it, let's go just quickly again, notice that it's going to allow me to do a clip volume. And I'm going to say I want to do it by two points, and I'm going to make sure that the display clip element is turned on. Now I'm just going to move my mouse somewhere right in here is my first point, and then come somewhere like about right in here. I'm going to say let this be my second point. Now it's going to ask me to see what view do you want to clip. Well, let's do it from an isometric view. So notice we started here, but we're going to click inside here. We want to see the results right in here. Notice how it automatically clipped out everything that wasn't inside this area. So I'm going to click on the button here to fit everything and now I'm going to rotate this dynamically and watch what happens here. With this little plus symbol I'm going to drag it to an endpoint and now I'm going to rotate. Can you see how it automatically cut this? So I'm able to look at just a portion of this bridge. Now the beauty of this is that any given time that you want you can go ahead and tell MicroStation that I want to adjust this. So I'm going to come back up here to my task select my arrow and then of course I can select this border now with a single click of my handle I can get a different set of results notice how it's more narrow as well as the fact that I can also move this around just by holding down the left mouse button and selecting what portion that I really want to see if I come back up here let's make it full screen let's fit the drawing and now let's begin to rotate Again, I'm going to snap this to a point so that way then I know I have a little bit better control where I want it to go. And now when I rotate this, can you see how it's basically cutting just a portion? And by the way, if I come up here and I tell MicroStation that I want to see this a transparent with shadows, notice I can see this here, and when I rotate it, it's actually given me a cutaway of just the area that I've cut. And notice again, it's still rotating with a transparency uh, that I can really use. Now, this is very powerful, not just simply for 2D. You can see it's very powerful for 3D. If you want to end this, all I'm going to do is make sure it's selected. And I can again uh, hit the X here to delete. And my entire drawing will show up again. So a clip volume will allow me to cut away portions of my 3D. So I can take a look inside of it, or I can take a look at just a portion whenever I need to.